and the greatest. What is up, guys? I'm Celeste Williams, aka the Swole Fester, here to educate you on health and social well being. And today, guys, we're going to be going over two more pieces of weight room equipment you guys seem to really enjoy. The review I did over the weightlifting belt, you know, explaining some of the myths behind it as far as what it does and doesn't do, explaining who should be using it, why you should be using it, if you should be using it at all. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But today, we're going to be talking about knee wraps and knee sleeves. So, just so you guys understand, there is a distinction between knee wraps and knee sleeves as far as they sort of have similar functions, but there's a big difference. So just to be clear, when I'm referring to knee wraps, guys, I'm talking about these. These are knee wraps. The thing that you know, you see people wrapping around their knees, stuff like that. And then I'll show you guys the knee sleeves when we get to that. So let's start with knee wraps. So here's the thing. A lot of people have the mindset, and this is for both knee wraps and knee sleeves, but I'll, once again, I'll reiterate if I need to, that knee wraps and knee sleeves are worn for injury prevention, that they somehow help prevent injury in the knees. This is not true at all. There is no scientific, clinical evidence at all to support that knee wraps or knee sleeves help prevent injuries in the knees, none whatsoever. In fact, when it's termed, as far as knee wraps go, it's quite the opposite. Knee wraps have been shown to cause a lot of damage to your knees over time. Reason being is because they're so tight and put so much compressive force on the joint. Basically, it forces the kneecap to rub against the joint and it messes up the cartilage in the knee over time. So knee wraps actually don't help with knee issues, they cause knee issues. Now, with that being said, the pe only people that should be using knee wraps at all are equipped powerlifters. So for those of you who don't know, powerlifting, there's raw and then there's equipped, right? Equipped are the ones where they can use like uh, the squat suits, the, the bench shirts, the, um, the wraps, everything like that. Whereas raw, the only thing that you can use in raw are like wrist wraps, um, a belt, and then knee sleeves if you so choose. They are mandatory, mandatory, but you can wear those things, at least in the USAPL, which is what I compete in. But as far as gear lifting, they're able to use knee wraps, squat, um, squat suits, bench shirts, all these things add a lot of weight to whatever your raw lifts already are. And that's a fact. People will debate that up and down all day. They're like, oh no, I use it for injury prevention. That's not the case, guys. We've already know, we have plenty of research and evidence to show that knee wraps can add at most like 100 pounds to your overall like to, to your squat that like there's no debating that and that's why equipped um lifters use that and most equipped power lifters don't don't negate that like they know they lift more in gear that's why it's called gear powerlifting it's they aren't just the ones that deny that it's usually just your recreational lifters who wear the stuff that that try to go against the fact that this is helping you lift more but the reality is guys because of the damage it can cost to your knees over time there is absolutely zero reason to be wearing wraps unless you are a power lifter who trains equipped. Otherwise, don't use them. It's not worth adding however much weight to your squat to mess up your knees in the long run. It's, it's just not like, like you're not gonna be able to squat if your knees are screwed up. And like I said, there's plenty of research that shows the damage that knee wraps do to your knees over time. I'll probably put a quick link, quick read in the description down below, as I usually try to do for you guys, just so you guys can see some examples. So that's it for knee wraps. Long story short, that's the only time you should be using them if you're a gear power lifter. Now, knee sleeves, there's a few types, right? There's lots of different types of knee sleeves. But what we're gonna be talking about predominantly are SPD knee sleeves and then strong knee sleeves. These are like the most popular brands out there right now, right? So once again, these can be used if you're um, a raw power lifter, right? Now a lot of people are like, well, why? If you're a raw power lifter, shouldn't you not be able to wear anything? Well, it's just a little bit different. It depends on the federation you're like in the USAPL. You can wear a belt, you can wear wraps, and you can wear knee sleeves, but you can't wear anything else. You can't wear anything that's been proven or shown to add significant amounts of weight to your lifts, right? So with that being said, here's the thing about knee sleeves. Uh, the first point is that a lot of people, especially people who can be in powerlifting, tend to get the knee sleeves a size or two smaller than what it should be. Because what size knee sleeve you get is based off the measurements around your knee or measurements around your calf, right? It tells you, hey, this is your size. Like you're a large, a medium, a small, extra small, whatever. What a lot of people do is they get a size or two smaller. Why? Because it's gonna give them a little bit of an edge. It's gonna kind of give them a mini replication of what knee wraps do. Now, they're not gonna add 80 or 100 pounds to your squat. In fact, for some people, it may only add like, you know, five to 10 pounds to their squat. Other people, depending on how tight they're getting these, it could maybe add 20, 25 pounds to the squat. Now, a lot of people have reported that um, when they were knee sleeves and they've even shown, you know, with some uh, with some testing that, and I've even done it myself, they're like, hey, I can squat the same amount 
um, in my knee sleeves as I can outside of them, but only when the knee sleeve is the appropriate size. So that's the thing, guys. So these, the strong knee sleeves, the reason I got these is because these are the actual size I should be wearing. These knee sleeves are a size smaller than what I should be wearing. If you guys remember from my uh, powerlifting video where I actually competed this uh, past March, these were what I was wearing, right? And originally, when I first got them, they fit fine. But as I, but that was back in, like, I want to say the end of 2015. That's when I started powerlifting. Is that's when I got them, right? So over time, you know, legs have gotten a little bit bigger. Boys' legs gotten a little bit bigger, and they've gotten hard to put on. They they're really tight, right? So that's why I decided to go to a size up. I'm still keeping the SBDs for competition purposes because that's the thing. And I'm probably gonna piss a lot of raw powerlifters off with this, but. The only reason to have them a size or two sizes smaller is to give you that little bit of an edge. A lot of people try to say that, oh, well, if, you don't, if you're not a fast squatter, it's not really gonna help you because it's like, you know, if, if you squat fast and yeah, I'll give you a little bit of rebound, but that's the only advantage it gives. That's not how it works, guys. You have to understand that the way that sleeves and knee wraps work is that you're storing energy pretty much behind the knee, right? That's where the energy is being stored when you're going down. So that way, when you come up, regardless of how slow you or how fast you go down, when you come up, you have more explosive energy coming out of the hole. And that's what tends to add a little bit of weight to somebody's squat because it can be more explosive out the hole. The faster you move out the hole, the more weight you're probably gonna be able to move. And that's how it works in terms of knee sleeves when you get them a size or two sizes too small. If you Now if you wear them for the appropriate size, they aren't really doing anything for you more than really just providing a little bit of comfort. That's pretty much it. But they don't prevent injury. That's the biggest thing. A lot of people think that knee sleeves prevent injury, but once again, that's the thing. If you get them a size small or too small, they can possibly cause not as much, but similar damage that the knee wraps cause. And the second thing to understand is that once again, there's no clinical evidence that shows that they help prevent injury, none whatsoever. The reality is when people put on knee sleeves or knee wraps and they're like, but my knees feel better when I wear them, that shows that there's a problem with either your technique, your form, or just your training. Maybe you're just squatting too heavy too often, who knows? But the reality is that the only reason you're not feeling that pain when you have them on versus when you don't have them on is because if you have knee wraps that are so tight, knee sleeves that are so tight, you're numbing that area, right? You're cutting off circulation. So you're not gonna really feel anything there. So that's the difference, right? Now, some people say things about like, oh, well, you know, if I wear a knee sleeve, it's gonna help keep the knee joints warm or whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, that area that the sleeve is on is gonna help keep that area warmer. Much like if I wear a shirt or a jacket, it's gonna keep my upper body warmer. But as far as warming the joint, that doesn't really make sense, guys. Like, our bodies, temperature is internally regulated. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why like when it's colder outside, your body's temperature is gonna try to regulate itself, make it a little bit cooler and vice versa. So to say that it's warming the joint, it's not quite true. It doesn't really work in that way. And even if it does quote unquote warm the joint, that's not helping you as far as injury prevention. As I've explained before, it's just like with the, the video I did with the weightlifting belt. Wearing that belt is not gonna help you prevent injury. If you have crappy form, you're still gonna hurt yourself. Somebody who's not using the belt but uses proper form and gradually progresses that weight has way less chance of hurting themselves than someone that throws the belt on but they're using horrible form on a squat or a deadlift. It's the same thing with the knee sleeves. If your form is trash and you're feeling pain in your knees because of it and you put knee sleeves on to mask that pain, you're not doing yourself any favors. Like I said, guys, the whole no pain, no gain thing is nonsense. Pain is your body's way of telling you something's wrong, you need to fix it. So instead of fixing it, you choose to put on wraps or knee sleeves you're just setting yourself up for failure in the long run because you're still causing whatever issues or you're still doing whatever's causing issues for your knees. You're just masking the pain. That's just gonna lead to even greater injury in the long run. So, am I telling you guys not to use uh, knee sleeves? No, not necessarily. I would definitely say that if you're gonna get like the SBDs or the Strongs or like, you know, the higher price ones like $80, $90, you better be competing in powerlifting. There better be a reason that you're spending that much. Otherwise, if you just like them because of the comfort, just because your knees feel a little bit better in them, even though they're not preventing injury, but you just feel more comfortable in them, that's fine. But just get a, a basic pair of them. Like, you know, like I'm sure it's like, I know there's like $30, $40, just cheap version of sleeves you can get. Just wear those. And that's my thing. If you're not wearing them for the sake of adding any weight and just for comfort, get them in the proper size. Because the only reason to get them a size or two sizes smaller is if you're trying to add weight. And I'll admit that, like, like the only reason I'm keeping my SPDs, even though they're like a size too small at this point, is because when I compete, that's what I plan to compete in. I'm still gonna wear like the Strongs right now, which fit appropriately just, you know, for the comfort like that. I'm gonna wear those when I train stuff like that. But when it comes to competition day, yeah, I'm wearing my belt, I'm wearing my SPDs, I'm wearing my reps, I'm chalking my hands up every little thing I can do to give me an advantage. Even if it doesn't give me a huge advantage, any edge I can get, 
I'm gonna take because it's a competition, right? That's the whole point. But I would not, the reason, whole reason I got the strong sleeves is because I'm not gonna use these SPDs, which I know are a size too small and keep using them. I squat three times a week, three times a week, putting all that pressure on my knee, even though it's not as bad as knee wraps, it can still have similar effects because it's too tight. So that's pretty much it for knee wraps and knee sleeves, guys. So quick recap, do not wear knee wraps under any circumstances unless you are a geared lifter because it will mess your knees up over time. That's just a fact, guys. Like Because of the pressure it puts, it may, like I said, it basically turns your leg into a spring, all those compressive forces, which is why you can squat 80 to 100 pounds more. It's a lot of pressure on the joint. It rubs the kneecap against the joint, messes up the cartilage over time, because screen knees up over time. For knee sleeves, if you want to get them, by all means, go for it. I advise getting them the proper size. If you're going to get them a size or two sizes smaller, you better be competing in a powerlifting meet. Otherwise, there's absolutely no point in doing that. You're putting unnecessary pressure on your knees for no reason. And lastly, neither of these actually help prevent injury. There is no clinical evidence that they do so. If you feel just a little bit more comfortable wearing knee sleeves, go for it. I'm not bashing you for that. I like wearing knee sleeves. They do feel comfortable, but I understand that proper form is why I don't have any knee pain. That's why I'm able to jump around, sprint, kick, everything like that because of proper form and taking care of my body. I know that these knee sleeves don't do something magical of keeping my knees warm and causing me to not you know, injure my knees. That's just not how it works, guys. And like I said, I'll have a, a one or two links down below to give you guys some more insight on that. But that's it, guys. That's it for knee sleeves. That's it for knee wraps. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you did. If you did not enjoy it, leave a comment down below. Let me know what I can make it better. Like the video, share, subscribe. Keep it simple, specific, scientific. I'll catch y'all later. I am the greatest. Come on, look